New developments tonight in the battle to keep greater access to medical marijuana on the November ballot. Thank you for joining us. I'm Griffin Broussard. After Secretary of State John Thurston verified signatures, the AG submitted an affidavit to the Supreme Court saying there are, are enough signatures to put the initiative in front of voters if the court approves. Here's Caroline Derby with an update. Expanding access to medical marijuana, the goal of a ballot initiative from the group Arkansans for Patient Access, also known as APA. After gathering signatures for months, the group submitted what they collected, believing it was enough to qualify for the ballot. Monday, Arkansas Secretary of State John Thurston said his office would not verify the group's signatures, meaning there was no longer a ballot question, claiming the issue was with who signed the paperwork when submitting signatures. The group then filed with the Arkansas Supreme Court Tuesday asking for a preliminary injunction and an expedited hearing on this matter. A court filing followed that by the Attorney General's office on behalf of Thurston disputing APA's position. Another group called Protect Arkansas Kids, also known as PAK, filed with the Arkansas Supreme Court too, asking to intervene, saying language approved by the Attorney General is misleading to voters and did not properly inform them of the scope of the ballot question, which would alter state law on medical marijuana. The court accepted the cases, agreeing to hear APA's complaint and PAK's request to intervene. It also ordered Thurston to verify the disputed signatures by noon today and ask all parties to submit their initial legal filings by 4 p.m. today. Friday, the Secretary of State's office turned over what they verified to the Attorney General. In a statement, A.G. Griffin says in part, quote, the affidavit confirms that if the process followed by the sponsor in this case was valid, there are enough signatures for the petition to qualify for the ballot. I continue to believe that the sponsor's process was not valid and I will follow the law as this case progresses, end quote. Melissa Foltz, spokesperson for the group Arkansans for Patient Access, says, quote, If our state government upholds our lawsuit and does the right thing, we will be on the ballot. We have proven we have enough signatures, and now it's up to the Supreme Court whether we will actually be allowed to use those signatures. In All the groups involved in this have to respond to the opponent's filings by Monday. The ballot question still requires the court's approval before voters can act on it. 